Hey guys, in this video we will make a shopping cart application using Angular Signal. Over here we will communicate or we can say we will manage the state through the signal. We have two main components. One is the product list. Here we are showing products. And when we click on add to cart, these products should be go into the shopping cart. Even the batch should be update also. So this is the app component there we are using the material toolbar and this is the shopping cart this is separate component and this is product list is separate component. Usually in Angular if we need to communicate between the two component we can do through the input and output property but in input output property component should be parent and child relationship. Another way we can do through the RxJS subject. Another way we can do through the service also. We can create an object in a service from one component. Suppose I'm clicking on this one, we'll store data into service object. In another component, when we load, we will get the data from that service object. One more way we can communicate between the component is ngRx. There also we can maintain the state. But guys, over here we are learning the totally new approach, signal. We will maintain all this data into signal. Once the signal, we will update the data or we can say we will get a computed data signal will notify to the shopping cart or even the badge also here we'll show the data over there okay let's see the code of it guys this project is in angular 18 and we are using material design for designing purpose this is the material component we are using for designing purpose and over here we have a simple design here we are using two component product list and shopping cart this is component also blank only so we have card even we does not have card item so this is the shopping cart one here also we does not have any code. In product list we have these product. We are displaying the product just running the for loop over here. So this is our application till now. This is model for the shopping cart and this is the model for the products. One more service also I created over here. Right now the service is empty. Over here we will maintain the signal. So that we will communicate or we will pass the data between these two component. Let's start the coding. First we will create a signal over here. In last video also I told you guys how to create a signal. Signal is in normal simple variables. We will use a signal word. Signal is by default with the Angular core features. Might be in the future, Angular will update something also for signal. Here we are making the signal type is product. And over here in signal also guys, like the behavior subject, we can put some initial value. So right now I'm just copy paste this product list and I'm putting over here. So this data will be come from this state or you can say from this signal Why? So now this product is signal. Over here we will, the type of this one is writable signal. To get a signal, this is a private variable. To get a signal, here I'm making a new variable get products equal to computed. So whenever this particular signal will be changed, thus computed function will be compute and it will give the output of this product signal signal whenever we need to get the value of the signal we should write down this calling bracket look like the function but it will give the value of it today after these two changes we'll use this product service into product list component we don't want to use this product here in the constructor through the dependency injection we'll go to the object of product service and this is public so we can access it over here I can use product service dot get product and this signal data we will get directly over here. This signal data we will get from this get product. Let's see the browser. Yes. Now also it's working. So now data is coming from signal. So whatever the data we have in signal, if anything we will change in the signal, it automatically will get the updated over here also. In product list, we have one button that is called add to product. When we click on add to product, the whatever the product we are selecting, it should be added to the cart. So over here we will maintain the cart as a separate signal. So this is the cart signal. This is actually will type of the cart. By default value is the initial value is the blank. Here we'll write down the function add to cart. Here we'll receive the product. Here we will write down the logic of to update the cart signal. Guys, if you wanted to change the any signal value, we have two functions set and update. Set meaning if we wanted to be insert a new value or if whatever the existing value we wanted to be just replace it with the new one we can use a set function. Update means if you wanted to be modify add on the existing value or something change on existing value or with the help of existing value I wanted to be just calculate or modify then we'll use the update function. In this functions we will check do we have existing item 
in the cart whichever we are adding it if you have existing item we will just change the quantity of it if it is a new item we will actually add into the cart signal plus we will add the quantity of the one over there so this is the logic of it so what whatever the data we will get through the update functions all the cart item that means i can see the previous cart item or i can write down previous cart here we will check the do we have existing item whichever we are adding suppose i am adding the over here the watch one and watch already there so this quantity will be update it was earlier we have one now it will become two if i am adding the new like earbuds then it will update the single quantity if existing item then this one if not existing item with the quantity one if you have existing item we will check do we have previous cart item if the id is the match we are checking through the id then we will increase the whatever the existing quantity plus one if none of the id is a match with the particular product id then we will actually return it the same item so this is the way we can actually update the signal this add to cart functions we will call into product list over here we we'll call product list dot add to cart item now cart item is updated into the signal now we need to show the cart item into shopping cart component over here we have one service product service we need to change it also because this is the private functions to fetch the data we need to be make a one more compute variables so over here i'm making it and this is get cart and this is we'll get the computed value of the cart now this get cart will use into the shopping cart over here we will write down a for loop to show the item guys i am actually using mat list this is material list in the material list we will add the items over here so adding the item into mat list i need to be run a loop over here so this is the loop through the product service i will get the get cart from here over here we will add the mat list item in the mat list item we can show the product image plus we will show one input box there we can increase the product quantity and will show the price also this is the source code of it here will show the product image whatever the image we have over here will show this product image you are over here here we need to make a one title this is accessibility warning error so i'm just adding the product image some title i'm just giving dummy title here i need to write down area label because due to the accessibility it's giving us error and this is i'm showing as a quantity this is the image this is the title will visible the product name and over here we'll get the input box beside of the input box we will see the quantity also and we have delete button also particular item we can delete it also let's see on the browser when i add a product i can see over here the product so this is the name this is the image this is a text box and here is the price and this is a delete button over here so like it visible so when i will add it over here the button should be visible also and badge should be updated also over here this button should be work or will also and even if i change it also it should update the price or total price also so these functionality is the pending over here to enable and disable the button guys i can simply write down product list get card if length we does not have we will disable the button to show the total over here we can write down one functions get total we already have the cart item from this cart item we can calculate through the reduce function the total of it so this dot product service dot get cart all the cart item we will get values we'll use the reduce this is coming in array we'll write down the total an item that is fine that is accumulated value and this is the total uh, this is accumulated value and this is the one one item will become over here we'll write down the total plus the whatever the total the we will actually multiply through the quantity item dot product dot price also so like we can calculate this is the total whatever the accumulated value this is the how many quantity we have and this is the particular product price we will calculate and we will add into the total final price we will get it over here this function we can call on html part so here we will show product list if we have the length then we will calculate the total over here and we are showing the two decimal let's see on the browser when we'll add yes we are getting it and total is also coming fine so this is done even we can do this things through the signal also here we can make the signal we can update the signal value and we can show the signal value over here in html also this things you can try to show the value from the signal and we can just update the value into that particular signal local variable of this component you can take the reference of this example and you can make it this particular part the next part is 
if I change the value of this one, this value should be update and this total should be updated also. To update the quantity, I need to make a one function update quantity. Here we will get definitely the quantity plus the product ID, which product ID we are actually updating it. Again here we will actually update this cart item. We'll copy this one, we'll paste it. Here we'll get the previous cart. We will map it one by one item we will get. Here we'll write down item dot product ID. Uh, we need to match the product ID also. So item dot product dot ID if equal equal to product ID whichever the product quantity we are updating it then we will whatever the item properties we have and whatever the quantity will get it this quantity property we are updating if it is not matched then whatever the existing whatever the left item should be there here I need to write down return statement also in arrow functions we can ignore the return statement also because this is single written statement. So we can write down like a This update quantity, we need to call from the shopping cart component. In shopping cart, on change of this input box, we will call the update quantity. This update quantity is a local function. Here we'll receive the product ID plus the event also. Through the event, we will get that event.target.value and we have the product quantity also. We'll pass the quantity, we'll make it to integer and we'll pass this quantity to product service. The quantity will update into signal. Once will quantity will update into signal, it automatically will change this card item and computed value we can see here also. Let's see on the browser. Suppose I added the stylus watch and the speaker. Here I'm updating the quantity too. We can see this number is changed. Again, this number is changing. Even the total is also changing because everything is calculated from that particular signal only. Signal will notify, yeah, I got a change. I got some updated. So it will update all the UI also. Without exactly, we don't need to make any make, uh, we don't need to any detect change. There is no change life cycle, nothing. It's automatically will work. Next thing is we need to make the delete functionality. To remove the item from the cart, on clicking on this particular button, we wanted to remove the item. This is removed from the cart and we need to pass definitely a product ID so that we will identify which product we want to remove from the cart and here we will pass the product ID. This function we need to make into product service. In this function we will receive the product ID. Here we need to update the cart. So cart dot update. Yes, we can do this one. So this is a previous cart we are filtering. If any product ID is not matched, that item we wanted to return and we want to update into the product. Let's see the changes on browser. We will adding two things. Suppose I'm removing. So this should be also update. Yes, this is updating and this is working. Two zero one one two nine one two nine over here also we have. Here also we want the batch should update. And this is not these two components. This is a separately we have into the app component. So this is the source code of app component. Here we want to write down the batch. To show the batch anywhere, we have the we can use the material batch. To get the cart item count, we will make a one function into product service get cart item count here this is computed functions it will return this dot cart reduce how many element we have in the cart definitely we need to sum the quantity also so reduce we will use this will actually accumulated value and the item here we'll actually write down accumulated value plus item dot quantity initial accumulated value will be zero. So this value we will show into the badge in app component. In badge we will show like a way, this is mat badge and this is the get cart item count. This function name we will rename it. Now we'll show the badge count also. If I need to be hide the badge count, I can hide it also. Mat badge hidden when we have count equal to zero. If you wanted to show some color or something, guys, we can use this one, matte batch color ascent also. This is a primary ascent color. When I will add, I can see one value over here. Yes, it is updating. And suppose if I'm updating the quantity, I can see the values updating over here also. So that's it, guys. This is done. Over here, we made the communications 
or we can say state management through the signal. From here, we are passing the data to the shopping cart component and even the badge also updating. So this is the way we can make a reactive application, res more responsive applications through the signal also. Guys, signal and RxJS is the two different approach. RxJS we can use especially for the HTTP client or you can say make the observable. There we can write down n number of operator also. Signal is just to make the reactive if you wanted to update something on the template binding or you can say change reductions approach we wanted to be just improve it we can use it also. Yes, these things can be possible through the RxJS also or through Signal also. We can say subject of RxJS, similar to that we have another approach is Signal. Here also we can update it also. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.